So in this video, I have a mission, which has been my main mission this entire year of turning one penny into a hundred thousand dollars in the thrift store, or I'm starting a new series where I'm turning nothing into buying a brand new to me used vintage thrift chariot slash vehicle. So I'm gonna do all of this by finding cool items in the thrift store, buying them, buying items off people. I'm gonna go on sale days. I'm gonna go to the Goodwill bins. And basically I'm gonna put forth extra work to try and reach my accomplishments, my goals, and some life aspirations at the same time. So go ahead, join me, smash the like button, and let's get into it today. So the first part of this video I shot a few days ago on half off day and I just want to tell y'all that all the items I'm grabbing I'm going to be selling them on whatnot which is an app where you literally can buy and sell anything under the sun I do live streams once to two times a week my username is thrift god if you guys don't have an account you definitely need to make one because it is an amazing time it basically is like an hour and a half of extra content where i slang gear and i start everything at a dollar so you guys literally determine the prices it's the people's court of buying items for what they're valued at in that particular moment with those particular individuals in the chat. So again, go ahead and follow me. If you don't have an account, click the link in the video description, make one, and you guys can save $15 off your first purchase. So the items that you see in today's video, I'm going to live auction some of them at the end of this video so you guys can see how it works. And for all you guys who tune into the streams, I appreciate you. But without further ado, it is time to get to finding some loot and getting some gear in the thrifts. Let's go. Oh, the doors just open. And I'm pulling up. Uh, let's get ready to rock up. All right. Then I like swim well. Dang, the Salt Lake Olympics. This is actually pretty hard. All in broad. Dang, that is a nasty patch. What is this? So I think this might be a boot. Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely is. Dude, the green members only. Yes. Thing looking like a pine tree. All right, this is just a very hard essential, man. Blanket lined, corduroy green hits. It's looking like a carrot. Delicious. This Columbia's colorway is sick. The deadliest catch I might. Dude, seven Damn. bucks. I get this for three dollars. Not bad. I just been getting lowballed on Columbia's left and right. Dang, they got the skidoo suits. What's the prices? Forty. I wish I might. Yikes! There we go. Washington football team, eight dollars. Now this jacket is actually sick. The spider with the spider hits. Dual pockets, that thin slate. Check out that back kit. Very clean. Do I love me some good outerwear and underwear? <laughs> Trippy. Oh, yeah, Skittle and Gay Pride. I love it. Mitchell and Ness 5X. My size. Perfect. All right, man. Camera inception right there. We had a swish of the high quality. Dude, $4 for two birds, one bat. I think I gotta grab this because there's seemingly no way I could take an L on this piece if I get it for the two bucks. That's like a dollar a bird. Gang. Gang, gang. So who would have thought the ladies section was gonna provide probably my favorite piece of the day, 1992, 91, all these bike patches on this light little windbreaker, huge Riverside Twilight 5 mile back hit this is only gonna be two bucks for me but i just appreciate that someone whittled their fingers all the way down to the bone customizing this patchwork 
and a rack. And it definitely goes crazy. So yeah, we'll just add that to the stack. See, this is why I keep turning over stones to find all types of little critters to chunk in my mouth. Worms, bugs, grubs. Nah, this is a nice little piece. It's only two bucks. <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals. Nothing nuts though, but we're just accumulating. We're just stacking. Damn, am I Cinderella? So I've looked around, I've perused, I emptied the card and on this rack is pretty much everything that I am grabbing. I actually think this Olympic jacket probably is the best piece. Even the buttons are stunning. And it's all embroidered circa 2002. That definitely is a good one. It's gonna be 12 for me. The Boston is clean again. You most assuredly need a vacuum to get out any fragments any fur from that design i did just find two polo ralph lauren heavily embroidered pieces size 2x this one's gonna be seven, seven. big two on the sleeve so it's gonna be 350 and then for the big fellas 4xl and if you're smaller this could double as a tablecloth okay or just a beach towel i mean check the vibe aloha maui i hope you're doing good man Another one for three dollars and then a 5XL Nuggets. Y'all saw this as well. I got to grab gear for the big boys. Then we got the spider jacket. This one is just so sick. That was my nickname in high school. Stop the cow. Spider. And then last and not least, I've showed this piece off before the NFL game day. They're yaxing 34. I would have paid 1751, but I waited. I bided my time. So the Washington Native Americans is going to be like a cool $8.75 up in here for your boy today so let's go ahead and load up i might look through the kids section and see if there's anything for my son but overall that's about all i did pick up out of here all right there it is two big old sacks sort out of there man this bag is ginormous Low key, that was a bicep workout. That store was a mess, man. There were so many people, bruh. It took so long to get through the line. But at the end of the day, I still got some decent stuff for the halfsies. Can't be mad at it, man. All right, guys, so we are continuing the quest at the Goodwill Bins. They sell clothes by the pound, 249 to be exact. So let's go ahead and get up in here and find some gear they just opened. Everyone else is probably already pillaging and it's my turn. So let's get it. It actually doesn't feel super, super hot today, which is amazing, but it's time to heat it up by finding some absolute honey Chipotle chicken crispers. Sick. What is this, a pullover? That is kind of hard. That's what we need. The 501 Extreme Short Shorts. Bro, this is so random. Yo, there's a nice little back hit. Hey, Walt Disney World, a vacation to remember. I hate a Goofy especially. I hate a Goofy especially. It's a little giveaway. Guys, look at the full thrift that set it off. Y'all know we're Jort Gang, Jort Army Carhartt. Jorts, size 38, perfect fade. Perfect. And in the Granny Custom, I'm not getting this, but shout out her craft cove so there's another couple in the first rotation adidas is very clean more contemporary than the scooby-doo so here's a couple more pickups man y'all know i am going to be doing a disney live on whatnot so these pieces will be included bro you got the 101 western dalmatians sheets then a nice little mickey run train on the game tee these are very very cool i'm telling y'all the opening is still cracking the johnny cash 09 i need it then we got two more contemporary pieces the car hardicus brick red it got me bricked up and then this looks like a two-year-old's homework was set on fire this fool didn't even care about knowing the abc's thrasher hoodie i'm getting both of these we're just accumulating and stacking all right man we're with abel again another parking lot cash out while we wait this is not his car tripping you see this hard no way nine four all right we're gonna this is like the original screw head right here <laughs> holy oh yeah i'll probably grab that one that one's sick like this one i actually could wear the my size dora that shit is sick <laughs> shout out to ig for the people again bro every red time. circle vintage you know we got what you need yes sir 
Appreciate you, Paul. Yes, sir. 30. All right. 30. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for the Olympics, uh, would you do 20 on that one? 20. Do 15? I do 15. What do you have on the Nike? Uh, I do 8. 8, that's cool. Yeah. 10 on that jersey? All right, that's cool. Bro, <laughs> I hate a Goofy especially. I hate a Goofy especially. I, goofy especially. I gotta grab Goof, bro. Yeah, you gotta grab Goof. Just for me. Another little stack in the parking lot. Something to supplement the live. I appreciate you, bro. Let's get it. Hey, I washed it. Smells lovely. Messy. Blow me a kiss. <laughs> oh, I like this shit. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. This is badass. Let me just say, my man Up Clash done hooked it up. Akeem, the dream, Elijah Salem, size large, two H Town T straight to me. Damn, that's love. Round two, fight. So that rotation only yielded three items. The hog's breath is definitely the coolest. I might sling it, I might give it away to Step Brothers, and then Ish, I don't have time for all of it, any of it. I'll grab these, bro, that's cool. This is that 15, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105. All right, y'all, so I just did another cash out, big ass pile. Like 316 spent. My boy Driven is one. You already know. Appreciate it. I got a bunch of POC tees and some crazy other like 3XL pieces. So the big boys, stay alert, stay ready. It's gonna go down. We're in here, man, and I feel like I am really paying up in the thrift for these items. But you have the Polo Sport Ralph Lauren, made in USA with the damn plaid. Then you also got the Cotton Traders dead stock. Just look at the 90s cut and colorway, originally 65. What? So they rolled out some new racks, and my lord, this jacket goes dummy. American flag, all embroidered. Each star is stitched, limited. 13 unlimited unlimited then the new racks also revealed two different tigers representing two different states and universities auburn this one actually is a russell crispy and then you got the missouri tigres as well that crabble big six so i think the last two things i got up in here are these jerseys this is definitely that blow call hello Dude, what even is this? Field hockey? Straight out of Ireland. These are hard as hell. The Vodafone sponsorship, two a piece. This thing got like shrooms on it. The tri Lion. This is hard, man. I gotta get both. I feel like they're steals. We really have been accumulating. Even the women's section has came through with that poo. It did it on them. Six dollars and another Missouri Tigers. Dang, I haven't walked out like this in a minute. Actually, yeah, I have, that's a lie. But whatever, dude, I got hella gear up in there. I'm super happy. Bro, those field hockey jerseys go for crazy dough. And then the homie Vintage Paradise was up in there and blessed my son with a banger. Just wait. Sway. Let's go, man. We out here, bro. Two birds, one bat. The chain stitching is crazy on this. Bird gang. Then look at this pack. We are blessed. Hard Rock Cafe Honolulu layered underneath this gorgeous Sears Perma Press tall flannel. Look at this. I mean, this three pack of essentials is crazy. You could even triple up, bro. You could triple up with no problem. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Hometown heater, H Town, Texas, Brazewood, baby. It is H Town, Texas, Brazewood, baby. H Town, Holy Town. You also have the eggplants. I gotta show these off before y'all roast me for missing them, but they do have a big gap in the toe cap. Oh my. One of the hardest NASCAR teams. Anytime they collab with damn superheroes, it goes nuts. It's Junior, baby. Shout out all our troops in the National Guard. 
What y'all looking at is y'all probably attractive as hell. Where are my National Guard members that also watch these videos at? Sound off. Hey, so hold it down. We got another, another one. Another one. Houston Oilers, 1993. Ooh, big residue spot. But hey, assembled in Jamaica. Brim. They smell like that gotcha. Ooh, that's that team. That's that squad. Dude, I am so excited. Starter with the big Dallas star on chest. Ooh, they were going to sell it for six, 225 in the outlet blessed i promise y'all the rule is always wear it find it manifest destiny the monterey soccer jersey this one is very cool then you have the bootleg obviously valencia champions league but again the stripes the colors it's popping yo this is a crazy one as well sounds like bs to me i think this is like an 80s or 70s piece look at all that embroidery wow shit is crispy there it is my heart is beating it's palpitating <laughs> i don't even know i said that right we have two blessings i just seen some number one the rainbow warrior jeff gordon right the number two is the all over print the backside the tailpipe the muffler the bumper and the front end is crispy jeff gordon 1993 that was my guy back in the day man i had my jeff gordon backpack i had to return it because it smelled horrible i still miss it to this day heaters best thing forget what i just said nice pecker what the jerseys made in usa oh the long Schnoz, bro, hell yeah. Let me know what's y'all's pecker size. Drop a comment. I'm bro, curious. What are you talking about, man? It's at least 8.5 meters. Why am I not surprised that Florida really does got the Jets as Highway Patrol? 1989. I think that's cap, Stop but cap. I don't know. So last but not least, we are signing out with some American muscle, eagle looking lethal with Excalibur enhanced Santa Fe Harley Davidson. Where is it made? Where is it made? Made in Mexico, the original. And then you have this nice tequila sunrise with like a tropical sour patch blue. Gorgeous. All right, y'all. So today is the day that I am doing the whatnot live stream with all the items I bought in this video. Now, a lot of these I did find myself, such as this one that was found in the bins, bins, and then other items. Obviously, you guys have peeped the video. I did purchase off of people in the parking lot. So this is all like 50% off day hustling, all parking lot purchases, and all of it I'm starting at a dollar, 15 seconds, sudden death, and it's time to go live. Y'all know what time it is, man. You guys know what time it is. It's the Friday Flame Fiesta. The Friday Flame Fiesta. Let's go, chat. Y'all sound off, chat, man. We're starting off strong, long and strong. Hey, handsome, right back at you. Guys, chat, definitely sound off. This is going to be included in the YouTube video. This is a big Friday Flame Fiesta. And all the items behind me, man are hopefully going to go to a brand new car fund. With that being said, I already have peeped the vehicle I'm trying to thrift, and uh, we're gonna see if I can make these dubs happen up in here. But we're gonna start off with a giveaway, man. Let's get it. Y'all know I love blessing any of you guys who tune into whatnot with the free items. Dead stock, San Jose Sharks, Snapback. All you gotta do is go ahead and join. Join the party join the chat let's get it all these items are going to start at a buck everything is 15 seconds sudden death i had to delay this live like 25 minutes so just know we're going to speed through all these items we got heaters of every grade every level every style every size and i'm screen recording so get off whatever you want in the chat right now guys get off the craziest sentence you can formulate in the chat we got it baby we got it but yeah, I hope all you guys are ready for a absolutely fantabulous weekend. This is the nice little Friday Flame Festival. We getting it. <laughs> Buttholes, that is a, a classic comment. Thank you for that. 
very intellectual. So the live is complete and that live was actually shorter than my typical lives because this entire series or at least this first episode of the series has been a grand experiment. Ideally I wanted to go in and thrift extra and then have an extra live once per week in order to accumulate funds to purchase a new vehicle. With that being said guys during that live I had to cut it off because a bunch of the stuff that I got for half off, I literally was selling for the price in which I purchased it. So you guys were definitely on your finesse game. And also I spent a ton of money in the parking lot. So on this convenient piece of cardboard, I wrote down everything I spent during this episode and everything that I made during this episode as well. All right, so in the thrift stores, I spent $245.68. In the parking lots and cash outs, I spent $710. So I total spent $955. So I had $1,000 in the game at the beginning. So during the first live, which I just showed you guys, I made $393. Keep in mind, I spent a thousand bucks, but I cut it short and I incorporated the pieces into my main live, which I do every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So literally I'm doing one after this video. I made a grand total of $2,335 during that lot. So I subtract all of my income minus my expenses. We are sitting at $1,772.32 towards a brand new to me used exotic eccentric vehicle if I still can purchase it and if it still is available by the end of this series. So this overall is a big gamble and a big risk. So I'm gonna reformulate for episode two. And what I'm going to do is sell a bunch of items on my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. And I still have some of the items from the parking lot that I have stocked up, such as the Pantera tee, cause I'm gonna do a band tee live in October. And then a couple of the other pieces that are like size 4XL, I did save for my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. So if you guys did enjoy, please smash the like button. We're $1,772 strong. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see where we end up and if I can actually thrift a brand new vehicle at the end of the day. I mean, you guys know what time it is. Y'all know I'm gonna get it done, but we gonna see how long it's gonna take. Until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream, follow me on whatnot, it is Thrift God, that's my username, and if you use the link in the video description, you'll get $15 off, and again, I'm going live at seven on Tuesday. So see y'all then, peace. Killing these songs, leaving them bloody live, I and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.